check out the instructor's comments and summary at the end of this lesson. Hey, we're going to show here why it's so great to do OEM parts. Take a look at this. Here's an OEM float needle from Suzuki. He's going to depress that dampener. Go ahead, all the way, and see how the screwdriver cannot touch the seat, the brass part. Now we're going to go over here. This is the, the aftermarket correct part number. See how much taller? Go ahead and depress it. But the, the valve itself is significantly taller and seems kind of loose inside the seat too. And then what a lot of people do is they just grab, you know, as many of them as they can. Now here's the next size. And look at, it, it won't even, when it depresses, the float would actually physically hit the valve seat and you'd have all kinds of problems where the fuel wouldn't actually shut off. So once again, there is a difference in quality and size. Uh, in what you get and you always have to be responsible for checking your parts. Any technician that ever worked for me it was always a requirement that they would save the uh, original parts until the completion of the job. There's multiple benefits to that. Number one it's always nice to show the customer hey this is what we replaced this is why and you might think on gaskets and little tedious stuff like this that there's just a trust factor with the mechanic that you know you shouldn't have to worry about it. you just throw it away here's a perfect example had we thrown those stock needles float needles away we wouldn't have had anything to diagnose or compare and, and see what we were going to uh, do to get these carbs to quit leaking you're gonna start chasing your tail you know is there a crack in the bowl or is there something else you know and just keeping everything there and being able to keep all options on the table is always your best bet uh, we even took these aftermarket needles back to the uh, the motorcycle shop and thought maybe they're packaged wrong or whatnot pulled out a brand new package and sure enough they were the same as the other ones I, I, I can't stress enough uh, you know be diligent we're all gonna run into problems and sometimes it's just out of our control or not our fault so when you uh, decide to uh, you know order parts sometimes that's why OEM is just absolutely a safe bet I think uh, especially when it comes to the the culture that we live in we're we're cheap. <laughs> We're frugal, right? And uh, I think sometimes we just spend so much time trying to save money that you, you ask yourself in the end, was it really worth it? And um, I don't know. I, I use aftermarket parts, you know, quite a bit of the time and I use OEM, you know, quite a bit of the time. So I can't really say uh, one's necessarily better than the other. They're... Anyway, uh, this is just a great video to show uh, what we ran into on this this carb itself and, and why the OEM was the only way to go. So keep on wrenching, keep making it great, and we'll see you soon.